Hi guys, Peter here, and I thought I'd just give you a quick update. There's um, actually five things I just quickly want to go through. The one is the various types of open graph types, um, and I'll explain why I just want to touch on those. I'll also show you how to post to the pages uh, or the walls of people that have liked you or commented on, on your page. Um, I'll show you what the Facebook linter is and why we need that. Uh, also, there's some issues with the, with the likes count on Facebook, and I'll just show you where to um, read up a little bit on that. And there's also been a change in the requirements for the OG image, which we'll update in the next version of the plugin. Um, and I'll also just touch on um, some of the features um, that we're adding into the plugin at the moment. Okay, so let's just, I just want to quickly touch on the, the types uh, in, the, in the Open Graph protocol. Um, now, as you can see, and the reason why I'm just going here um, is uh, object type. So you can see, uh, and I just want to um, highlight this. You need to read this article very slowly, uh, and you need to read it more than once to actually understand a lot. There's a lot in here, which uh, is not that obvious when you read it the first time. Interesting thing here is that um, pages of type article do not have publishing rights. So if you set up your page um, as an article, and then what I found even as a website or a blog, that um, you actually don't have the ability to post on the page of the people that liked you. I'll just repeat that uh, again. If you set up your the open graph type as a blog, a website, or article, then you don't have the ability to post back to people that have liked your page. So um, I suggest that you find something like company if you're representing a company or um, find something in here where you can specify something different uh, and I use uh, I've used product in the past I'm just looking for product quickly uh, there's product so if it's a specific product like max FBSEO then I'd use product or if it's a company or whatever the case might be um, one of my customers then I would if, if I can't find anything else here I'd rather use company that gives me the ability to post back so let me show you how that post back work this is um, a post that I did a while ago and uh, posted that and I think a couple of you this is really a good interview it's only two minutes and 32 uh, seconds um, with Mark Zuckerberg explaining uh, some of the reasoning behind open graph um, but anyway, so right at the bottom, if I just go to the bottom, you'll see that uh, 12 people liked it and there were 7 comments posted. Because I'm the administrator, I'm logged in the, the, as the Facebook administrator for this page. Um, it actually recognizes me and it gives me this option here to be able to... Um, you, you can either moderate comments, so if there were certain comments made, you want to moderate a view. It gives you the ability to moderate that or um, if I just go to settings um, you can specify uh, blacklist uh, words or, or things like that that's not really what what interests me it's right at the bottom now it says here it but if the admin not specified it actually picks up the admin from the from the app ID you don't have to specify both once again that's uh, that's in here in the um, in when you read through this you don't have to specify both so if you specify the app ID it will pick up the FB admin from that so if you the next the, the other thing is if you do make any changes to any one of those if you go and you update your open graph information um, then you need to run it through this this uh, linter again um, which is something also that is um, so an actual fact if I just go back to editing uh, where they say editing um, and there's some interesting things that you need to note that after 50 likes you that title becomes fixed you can't change it anymore and after 10,000 likes the type also becomes uh, fixed the more important part is um, for the changes to be reflected in Facebook you need to force your page to be scraped the page is scraped when an admin for the page clicks the like button so that's the one way or the URL is entered into the Facebook URL linter which is actually this one here so um, just to go back to how I found that if I go back onto my blog page I now have I'm in the settings side um, and view URL in linter and 
now I can republish all the information to so it'll scrape it for Facebook so it'll physically and you can see there's some issues on Facebook I'm actually running Chrome it looks worse in Firefox um, so all the information that so it'll also pick up the admin URL which is the one that we're actually interested in there's some some changes to this as well I see that um, that they've just posted on Friday they've just posted a note to say that this image now need to be 180 uh, 180 pixels wide um, but I'll, I'll show you that so it, on this it says that 12 people have liked it now there's some a lot of inconsistency with the data that's coming through at the moment but doesn't matter um, sorry just go back there I actually want to use the admin URL so for this specific page this specific page that I've got this you see there's my URL it's my specific page it's not the domain it's the specific page there's a very specific admin URL so I can now post back to people that have liked that specific post now as you can see it says one person liked it which is not quite true there were <coughs> And the way that you post, and I'll, I'll, I'll get back to this issue now. I'll show you on the insights um, some information on that. Um, there and there seem to be some issues with that, but I'll I'll I'll, um, I'll show you in a minute. Um, but before I go there, this is how I can actually send it through. So just go onto the wall, update a status, and it'll post it through to everyone that have um, that actually liked or commented on my. Um, uh, on my post so that is for this specific one so this is where I can sp um, give everyone that have liked the previous product or a product type or something like that and um, the guys who liked my specific um, Nike Airs that I'm stocking there's a new um, shoe a running shoe out and I can just send it back to these guys on this specific post uh, to attract them it is extremely powerful from a marketing point of view and we're actually doing quite a lot of research and and work around this to see how we can how we can expand uh, some of the capability around this. Just some interesting things. If I look at the insights, it'll once again tell me that only one person liked it. The interesting thing is that it'll tell me that 23 people viewed that. Um, so that interaction that was sent out um, was sent out to 23 uh, people now. Um, so this message was posted on on seven pages so as you can see it was posted back there are some challenges with the information coming out of this um, they seem to be lagging um, not only in time to reflect it but also in time to for the reporting uh, with this so yeah, yeah. but uh, I'm just looking for my um, information that I had on that okay so in the forum under the Facebook developers forum you'll find that um, that there's a lot of reports and I'm just opening one there's a lot of people saying well the button count shows more than 6,000 even though on the page it only shows 16 people like this there's a big discussion with Facebook and this chap seems to be representing Facebook seems to be a lot of discussion um, around that and there's a couple of these posts around not just this one um, but the Facebook seem to f think that they have um, have the algorithm sorted out. It's it, and if you read it, if you read from the various posts, you'll find that it changes for um, just overnight. It'll go from one to twenty-three, back to sixteen. To yeah. weird. Um, I'm pretty sure they'll stabilize this and and get it working. This is pretty new for them as well. Um, and with the fact that there's twenty million new people, uh, tw twenty million people, or twenty million new apps uh, registered every day um, I think they've got their hands full with the volume of, of of these things and it's only going to increase the more people are starting to understand the value of the open graph information that sits behind it now um, I'm just gonna go back to the open graph itself and I'm just gonna do it from here but once again it's important to note that in order to get the ability to post back you need to you need to make sure that you specify that one as a very specific one now this you in the next version of the of the um, plugin which uh, which is due out shortly we will grab the this title from from there as a default you can then change it so we'll grab it from there 
the image URL um, you can specify a default one for your blog as well um, and at the moment the documentation says 50 by 50 but there's um, there's some new information that has just come out um, on that and I'll just open that page so what they've just um, and this was published on Friday so that would be um, Friday the 10th um, just as a matter of interest um, so there's a few changes that they've made but uh, mostly um, this one here um, when spy is specifying the open graph the image open graph tag the post made by it is now required that your image has a minimum width of 180 pixels so they've gone from the 50 to a minimum width of 180 pixels and uh, please just note that uh, also just uh, interestingly enough you'll see that there were 185 new bugs reported on the developer platform um, and uh, at the moment there's a thousand two hundred and sixty two bugs open uh, fortunately it's 94 down from last week um, yeah uh, it does give us a few headaches um, when we just read we don't get any advance notification of any changes we just find that um, um, we get we have to read and find little things like this it's not really pub uh, publicized well it's one thing that they do shockingly is their documentation so yeah that's just a quick update on how to post um, to the specific page and make sure that your open graph info uh, in tags are, are properly specified thanks very much